So I'm tired of hearing about Amy Coney Barrett. I'm distraught by the hearings today. Justice Alito and Justice Thomas a week or two ago put out an opinion saying basically that they regretted the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Abfergelt decision, which gave gay people like me the right to marriage, which I did in fact use and I am married, um, because it, by me having the right to get married, I'm infringing on the rights of bigots, religious bigots specifically. So by me being gay and getting married as a homosexual means that I'm infringing on someone's religious liberties who believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. That's the most ridiculous argument I've ever heard. It's idiotic, it's mean-spirited, it's unchristlike, and it's obscene. And now they're trying to force this Amy Coney Barrett into the into this highest court, the Supreme Court, even though she clearly makes legal decisions based on her personal religion. And that's why her religion is in fact on the table and is at issue here. It would be nobody's business. Her religion should be nobody's business. But the fact that she makes it our business because she uses her religion to make legal decisions means she's unqualified. We don't even need to consider her religion. All we need to know is the fact that she does use her religion to determine the law. She's using the law as a way to install Christian faith in the United States legal system, which is wrong, and it's against the Constitution. And it is, in fact, a coup, a religious coup against our secular institution, and it's illegal. So we have to do everything we can to stop her. Everything. We have to be creative. We can't just say, oh, oh, well, we've, we are exhausted with parliamentary procedure. We can't do anything else. Be creative. There is a way. Think about it. There is a way to stop this. This nomination should be stopped just the same way they stopped Merrick Garland even though he was perfectly legitimate and they use the logic and they go against the logic. It's just, it's, it's obscene. It's unfair and it's obscene. They set a precedent by saying, oh no, we can't, uh, we can't put a, a judge in who's been picked by the president because he only has 10 months left in this term. And then they go around and do the same thing with somebody with less than two months left. No, it's not fair. Everybody knows this. It is intuitively obvious that this is unfair and it is a coup to install a religious institution in our government. We have to stop it. If we don't stop it now, it's gonna be a lot harder later.